Imagine a voyage so unbearable, a fate so cruel that the depths of the ocean seem a welcome escape. Picture, if you will, a ship in the year 1803, leaving the shores of Nigeria, its belly filled not with goods, but with people. These are the Igbo people, proud and strong, ripped from their homes and forced into chains. The ship, a monstrous beast of wood and sail, cuts through the waves of the Atlantic, its path marked by sorrow and despair. Within its dark hull, the Igbo people endure unspeakable conditions. Hunger gnaws at them, thirst parches their throats, while disease, an uninvited passenger, stalks them relentlessly. Yet, even in this dire situation, the spirit of the Igbo people burns bright. They are more than captives. They are warriors, philosophers, artists, mothers, fathers, children. They are a people with a rich history and a vibrant culture. Despite the chains that bind them, they remain unbroken. Their hearts beat with the rhythm of their homeland, their souls yearning for freedom. In the face of adversity, they do not falter. They hold on to hope, on to each other. They endure, they resist, they fight. Their journey across the Atlantic is a testament to their incredible resilience, their indomitable spirit. But their spirit was unbroken, their resolve unshaken. In the face of despair, a spark of rebellion ignited. In the cold, unforgiven belly of the ship, the Igbo captives, torn from their homeland, found an unyielding courage. United by a common language and a shared spirit, they hatched an audacious plan. A daring uprising was born from the collective will of those who refused to be enslaved. Their hearts pounded in rhythm with the crashing waves, their spirits aflame with the thirst for freedom. The captives, led by their indomitable leaders, rose against their captors. Their voices, filled with determination, echoed through the ship, a defiant roar against the chains of oppression. They fought with everything they had, their bodies strained to the limit, their eyes ablaze with the fire of resistance. Each blow they landed, each chain they broke, was a testament to their unbroken spirit. Their rebellion wasn't just a fight for freedom, it was a bold statement of their humanity, a refusal to be reduced to mere your commodities. In the face of insurmountable odds, they stood tall, their spirits never wavering. Their rebellion was a beacon of hope amidst the darkness, a testament to the indomitable human will. Victory was within grasp, but the real battle was yet to come. Their courage and determination were inspiring. Their defiance a powerful statement against the inhumanity of slavery. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share. They, dis they disembarked, not to chains of slavery, but to the shores of St. Simons Island, Georgia, a place of striking beauty, with its moss-draped oaks and tranquil sea breezes. Yet this natural haven was a stark contrast to the harsh reality faced by these captives, the Igbo, the Igbo people from Nigeria. They had been wrenched away from their homeland, endured a grueling voyage across the Atlantic, and had rebelled against their captors. Now they found themselves on the precipice of a life they didn't choose, a life of enslavement in a world far from home. The island, as breathtaking as it was, was a chilling reminder of their stolen freedom. The rustling leaves whispered tales of their past lives, and the crashing waves echoed their longing for home. The captives stood there, their feet on the unfamiliar soil, their hearts heavy with sorrow and their spirits filled with resilience. They had already shown their unyielding spirit through rebellion, but the true test of their resolve was yet to come. Each of them knew deep down that their journey was far from over, yet an unthinkable decision was on the horizon. Faced with a life of bondage, they chose a path of resistance. As the shores of St. Simon's Island drew near, the reality of their impending servitude became unbearably tangible. Approximately 75 brave souls made a decision that reverberates through the annals of history. They would not live shackled. They would not submit to a life of subjugation. In a collective act of defiance, they plunged into the murky depths of Dunbar Creek. One by one, they willingly succumbed to the water's embrace. Their final act, a powerful testament to their unyielding spirit. The air was heavy with despair, yet punctuated with an undeniable undercurrent of courage. Each ripple in the water told a story of resistance, of a people unwilling to have their freedom usurped. Each wave carried away a life that refused to be enslaved. It was a poignant symphony of despair and defiance, a heartbreaking melody of freedom's cost. 
the creek bore silent witness to this extraordinary act of rebellion, its waters forever echoing their resolve. Their final stand wasn't one of violence, but of dignified surrender to the inevitable, a tragic testament to the indomitable human spirit. And thus, in the face of oppression, they chose freedom even in death. Their voices may have been silenced, but their story resonates through the ages. The Igbo landing event is not just a historical record. It's a symbol, a testament to the human spirit's unyielding desire for freedom. It is an occurrence that has deeply ingrained itself in African American folklore. A story passed down through generations, a beacon of resilience and defiance against oppression. Today, we recognize this tragic event for its profound significance. The Igbo people's unflinching resolve in the face of unimaginable adversity has become a source of inspiration and strength. Their story continues to echo in our collective consciousness, reminding us of the cost of freedom and the value of human life. In 2002, the St. Simons African American community commemorated the legacy of the Igbo people. This commemoration served as a powerful reminder of the event's relevance and its enduring impact. It was an acknowledgement of the hardships faced, the lives lost, and the spirit that refused to break. In their final act of defiance, the Igbo people left a legacy of resilience that transcends time, reminding us all about the indomitable spirit of freedom. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.